Hoi friends, welcome to day five of our Irresistible Med Cruise on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. Today is not only a day at sea, but it's also Tori's birthday and Scarlet Night. Join us as we partake in some amazing food and drink and even better entertainment on board. Let's go. Ahoy friends and good morning. We're on day five. Yeah, five, day five of our, our Virgin, Voy Virgin Voyages sailing. Uh, currently we're, it's a sea day and we're sailing past Corsica right now. So out on the balcony we have some like absolutely beautiful views. Oh, you can't see it in the camera. I'll put some footage though. I love this hammock. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so today is also my birthday. Get some fun stuff planned. Um, this morning we did a, a VHS workout in the manor, which stands for uh, Video Headbands and Simmons. So it's kind of like a 80s themed VHS tribute style workout. It was a lot of fun. Every workout should start with a warm up, and Jordan has played one for you that keep your muscles ready for action. Now it's time to start. And for the first time, we're not using our normal workout space. Go get ready, and I'll see you in a minute. Oh, boy! Oh, yeah. Got nice and sweaty, so nice way to start the, start the day. Tonight there's a show, and tonight's also Scarlet Night on board, so they have all the Scarlet Night activities, um, parties and entertainment and all that stuff, so we'll be checking that out and see how it goes but yeah it's nice to just have kind of a relaxing day and see you in a bit finished with bingo with the diva in the red room. Uh, it was four games. It was, it was part bingo, part drag show, part variety show. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. What do you think? Um, we didn't win. Otherwise, we would have a much different vibe, I think, going on in this Probably, um, yeah. summary of the of the time. Uh, it was good. It was entertaining. It was a nice hour. We did the combination of two boards for $60. So we played nine squares per game. 
it was we came close a couple times, um, but unfortunately did not win anything. The woman in front of us, not a fan with the speed of the bingo, was way Whoa. too fast for her. So she kept yelling, slow down. And the diva had to keep saying, like, this is how we do it here, basically, without saying that. So that was um, not entertaining by, like, the 50th time she had done that. But I think everyone else was having a really fun time, and it was a good vibe. Yeah, they had, like, a little game in the middle. It was called uh, This or That. So they picked two people from the audience, mm -hmm. and they had these super zoomed-in pictures. The first version was... Barrier Bug. Barrier Bug. And the second was Seashell or Toenail. Yeah. It's a little bit gross, but... It was fun. It was fun, yeah. Yeah, I wish one of us had done it, because then you, you... Either way, you got, like, a bottle of champagne. Yeah. Just for participating. But well, that was the only one. It was fun. Yeah, if we ever do bingo again, we know we can volunteer for that, maybe. Yes. A bottle of champagne. We're now apparently bingo people, so there we go. We've now done on the Disney ship and this ship. It was fun. Uh, yeah. It was fun. The last... And Jackpot, I was two away. Me too. But unfortunately, not, not close enough to win the uh, yeah. $2,700. That would have been nice. Would have been real nice, especially on her birthday. Yeah. And the woman that won the overall jackpot, it was her birthday as well. So happy birthday to her. Yeah, <laughs> way to have fun. It was fun that when the person won, everyone in the group yelled, You suck! And whatever their name was. So it was definitely fun. Very uh, upbeat, good music. And now I'm ready to go take a walk on the deck while Tori does a little birthday chill. Yeah, I'm probably going to lay in this hammock a little bit more, so... Enjoy your walk. Thanks. See you in a bit. See ya. The Virgin app has a hidden feature called Shake for Champagne. You shake your phone when the app is open and you can order a bottle of champagne delivered to wherever you are on the ship. The price was $100 and it took around 20 minutes for our champagne to arrive. While we wait for the bubbly, we're enjoying some more fresh pizza. Today's special is Tori's favorite, Hawaiian. It's her birthday today, so we, we're splurging. Thank you. <laughs> you already got happy birthday singing. Did they sing for you happy birthday? They haven't yet. <laughs> we'll make it happen later. <laughs> A nice little birthday treat and it's portable as we brought it with us to the afternoon showing of Ships in the Night. This stage production through song, dance and technology examines the significance or insignificance of incidental connection while on our own personal journeys. Definitely not to be missed. For her birthday dinner, Tori booked us in at Pink Agave, the onboard Mexican restaurant. Pink Agave features a huge collection of tequila and mezcal, and a menu packed with shareable items. We started out with an order, okay multiple orders of chips and guacamole with pomegranate seeds, jalapenos, and tatapas. We continued with the enchilada de polo, which are chicken enchiladas with salsa verde and crema. Esquites, which is grilled corn, spicy aioli, and lime. And the papas con chorizo. That's Yukon gold potatoes with onion and garlic. From the large plates, I also enjoyed the cochinita pibil, which is acciote marinated smoked pork and sour orange habanero pico de gallo. It was all incredibly delicious. For dessert, I ordered the chocolate tacos, but little did I know that Danny had planned another surprise for me. Happy birthday. 
birthday surprise cake. <laughs> As the sun started to set, the ship started to take on a shade of red throughout, and it was clear scarlet night was upon us. First off, we visited the Red Room, where the hostess, excuse me, the goddess of the ocean, told us the story of Scarlet Night and sang some bangers. there is entertainment all over the ship. Back in the dock, a Latin music band was playing. <laughs> then, on the dock's outside terrace, dancers brought down the moon. Inside the roundabout, the crew from Dual Realities was treating everyone to more juggling and acrobatics.
They told us to go to the pool, so up to the pool deck we went. This is where the big Scarlet Night deck party finale takes place. And what a party it is. Just watch out for that splash zone.
her spirit awakens. Do you feel her power? Yes. Does she, yes. Does she make you drop? Oh, yeah. What an epic way to end an incredible day at sea. Thanks for joining us and helping to celebrate Tori's birthday.